This is an order for Copland on um, Tuesday, February 2nd, is also called Candlemas or the pres Presentation of Christ in the Temple. And as we light our candles tonight, let us be this be a reminder that we are to be the light in the world and help us to be there to encourage others to be out there too. Copland begins on page 127. O God, who in the work of creation commanded the light to shine out of darkness, we pray that the light of the glorious gospel of Christ may shine into the hearts of all your people, dispelling the darkness of ignorance and unbelief, and revealing to them the knowledge of your glory in the face of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought, in word, and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our psalm for tonight is Psalm 27, found on page 617 of the Book of Common Prayer. We will read together verses 1 through 6. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom then shall I be afraid? When evildoers came upon me to eat up my flesh, it was they, my foes and my adversaries, who stumbled and fell. Though an army should encamp against me, yet my heart shall not be afraid. And though war shall rise up against me, yet will I put my trust in him. One thing have I asked of the Lord, one thing I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. to Behold the fair beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. May the God of peace who brought us again from the dead, our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Thanks be to God. Almighty and ever-living God, we humbly beseech thee that if thy only begotten Son was this day presented in the temple, so we may be presented unto thee with pure and clean hearts by the same, thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. 
Together, let us say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night for the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. On page 134, let us say together, Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. At this time, if you'd like to unmute and give prayers either silently or aloud for those on our hearts. Pray for Doc and Mark. Congrats. Mary Jane Major and family. Tom. Matt. Kelly LaBelle. Bill. Jeff. Kevin. Art. Larry. Wendell. Al. The kid for and his family. For Jane and Marilyn. Caroline, family. Joanne, for Christy and John, Linda, Aaron. for Andrea and Daphne, for those who have no shelter. Mm. Amen. Linda. Margaret in the conference center. Man. You. All our health care workers. We lift all these prayers to you in your name. Amen. Amen. Dee, Dee, we have muted you in error. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. And together at the top of page 135, let us say the Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord God, you are the source of everlasting light, your son, our beloved Lord Jesus, was presented in the temple 40 days after his birth. He was recognized by Simeon and Anna and welcomed as the promised Messiah. May we like them behold the glory of the Lord Jesus. Grant that we may stand before you with hearts cleansed by your forgiving love. May we serve you all our days and make your name known as we worship you as our Lord. 
so may we come by your grace to eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen.